Hey guys, Nabil here. Hope everyone is doing okay and everyone is staying safe. We're about a few minutes away from the PlayStation Showcase, so I can't wait to see what Sony has in store for us. Well, I'm not streaming that event because I don't believe we're gonna get any King of Fighters uh, or Samurai Showdown related stuff in the, uh, the Showcase, so there's no need to do that. And speaking of the King of Fighters 15, there was no trailer this week. Right? It was supposed to have a we, we've been having a trailer every Thursday. It was not the case today because we just had the Chizuru Kagura trailer back on Sunday. Right? And that was an awesome trailer. And we finally had the confirmation that the Sacred Treasures team is back. Kyo, Iori, and of course, Chizuru are teaming together to fight the good fight and to stop Orochi from resurrecting, probably. And speaking of Chizuru, we have more information about the whole team her, and her role in this King of Fighters 15 thanks to the official SNK website where we have a description for the story of each of these characters. Now, Shizuru Kagura's story says that she's a descendant of the Yata clan, one of the three powerful clans entrusted with the sacred treasures capable of sealing away Gaia's will, otherwise known as Orochi. Her fighting style resembles traditional Japanese dancing, while her access to the Kagura style of ancient, of ancient martial arts allows her to seal away her opponent's abilities. She convinces hairs of the other two clans, Kyokusanagi and Iori Yagami, to once again join forces and enter the latest King of Fighters in the hopes of revealing the powers behind the appearance of the being known as Verse and the weakening of the seal of Orochi. Now, Kyo Kusanagi's story says that Kyo is the heir to the Kusanagi clan and successor of the Kusanagi style of ancient martial arts. The Kusanagi clan is one of the three entrusted with the sacred treasure, and thus a cleansing flame resides within Kyo's very own blood. Though his biggest rival is Yori Yagami, they are both left with little option but to put aside their differences and team up once again for this latest King of Fighters to hopefully prevent Orochi from resurrecting. As far as Iori Yagami's story, it says that the Yagami clan is one of the three ancient clans entrusted with a sacred treasure. As a descendant of his clan, Iori has access to abilities that allow him to tear apart his foes, and powerful amethyst flames granted by his knowledge of the Yagami style of ancient martial arts. His ancestors signed a blood pact with Orochi 660 years ago sparking a feud with the Kusanagi clan. Despite this, he decides to uphold his duties as a member of the original sacred clans and joins KOF. So there's not a lot of story here telling us what's happening, obviously, because that would be spoilers, but it's cool to see that the three sacred treasures are teaming again to defeat... Now, I don't think it's Orochi. I mean, the seal is uh, weakening. Doesn't mean that Orochi is in the game. Now, again, talking about Kagura, as usual, as it is, uh, we've been getting used to it now, every time we have a new trailer, the game main designer, Tomohiro Nakata, would actually share some insights about that character, and Shizuru is no exception. And this is, we'll look here at this beautiful art from Shizuru. She looks amazing. And this is what Tomohiro-san had to say. It's been a while since Shizuru was a playable character, and so her design has changed a bit. Well, not by too much, but we colored the inside of her jacket and outsoles of her shoes red to give her movement a bit more flavor. We also gave her a cloak so she can stand out a bit better during gameplay. Well, all I know is that she looks awesome. And finally, because this was the the uh, the the culmination of of a team, right? We finally have the three characters. And now we have we have a new stage for them that you know we saw before, which is uh, a reimagining, I believe, of the King of Fighters '94 Japan stage. We were also treated today with the official team background music. Now this one is called "Fictitious or Real," and let's listen to it quickly.
pretty cool. Now the last thing I want to talk about, well two more things I want to talk about. One of them is Cham Cham, right? Cham Cham is coming to the Samurai Showdown Season 3. She's the first character of Season 3 and she's going to be available on March 16. Now we all saw the Cham Cham trailer, we saw her design which is which is pretty much the same as, uh, you know, we've always seen from Cham Cham. She looks exactly like Cham Cham, right? Um, well, not in every territory. So check out Cham Cham, um, how she looks in the uh, in China. So yes, completely different and yes, definitely censored. This is not the first time uh, this happened actually in the King of Fighters 14, my actually wears shorts um, in, 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 in her model, which she does not in the other uh, versions of the games. And, and this is actually fine, and you know, this brings me to talk about something quickly, which is it's not the topic. A lot of people, when they heard about the acquisition of SNK by the Saudi company EGDC, a lot of them were saying, oh, oh god, we're gonna, we're gonna have, you know, these characters are gonna be censored. Well, for, you know, censorship is not new. And it's as you can see, it's probably going to be some. If if it ever is a thing, it's going to be something like this, so that it will be censored in a specific territory and not in you know like globally, which is what any company that want to make money will do. But yeah, this is Cham Cham for the for Samurai Showdown season three in China. Well, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't done so, and until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort. And being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Yard, Fahad Aswaidi, Heinz Green 3, SSBM Slick Tricks, Jacques Paul, and Ken Suenaga. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamia, Refugio Robles, Felipe Gumara, Jihao Ju, Gail Sound, Hamad Al Blushi, and Anthony Longino. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now Patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become Patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to Patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.